You special and she reckless. And babe, you're my bestest friend. Yeah, she my bestie. Hi my love, thank you for clicking on, on this video. I'm so glad that you're enjoying this series so far. My fave comment on the last episode is by Punchinella Games, my bestie. <laughs> thank you for leaving such an amazing comment. It's so fun to know that that people enjoy the same parts that I enjoyed. Because when Bobby flew off that bill, like I seriously lost it. And guys, make sure and go check out Punchinella's channel. She's an amazing content creator, for real, for real. And now let's get into the video. Yes, I'm so excited. Ah! <laughs> Hello everybody Welcome back to the Barbie Legacy Challenge! <laughs> I am so excited to be here today. Let's get straight, in it, straight into it because we have a lot to do in this episode. And okay, so okay, so let me just give you a state of where she's at with all of these boys. These fine Ken menses, right? So, so there's Ken Castro. She is at level Friendship 38 and Romance 18. It's not where she wants it to be, but it's... It's still something. They have okay chemistry, but they have good compatibility. And they're just like a romantic interest, right? She hasn't had any other sentiments with him or whatsoever, which is a shame. So then there's Ken Brooklyn, who has friendship 41, but romance 10. And I'm like, only 10? I was like, okay, we can work on that. But friendship is actually getting up there. With their chemistry, it's still okay chemistry. And she perceives him as unattractive, which is weird because she has a crush on him. She thinks he's an interesting sim and they're growing quality, like they're growing closer from quality time. But he still has like, you know, it's a bit clingy. But I am just like, Bobby, this man is not unattractive. So you better get it together. <laughs> Maybe it's like, you know, he's interesting. He has an interesting look. But I'm not, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I, I have like, there's a magnetism there that I'm not sure about what it is. So can Axel Rose, we did get some headway in the last episode with their solo date. Friendship is now 24. Again, still not where I think it should be. And romance is 13 they have okay chemistry she perceives him as very attractive and i'm like it's the long it's the long hair she likes long hair clearly um but she thinks he's, he's in dreamland like and to me there are no other sentiments like i i am not i don't know about this relationship what's the what is the basis of it you know what is the basis of it bobby can you tell me really and then there's Ken Sulani, who is like last, but his friendship is at eight and there's no romance whatsoever. He does have a major crush on her, but he's been very shy, shy, shy. They have okay chemistry and she perceives him as attractive. She, she likes the guys with the buns, dude. And I'm like, Ken, like, like, okay, I understand. I like guys with long hair too. Like I have like a real thing with guys with long hair, but Barbie, please. <laughs> Ken Brooklyn is hot, all right? Anyway, look at her. She's so beautiful, y'all. With Ken Solani being like last, dead last, like he's terrible. Like he, to me, needs help. So there's definitely a solo date that needs to happen. And we're going there right now. We're not going to waste any more time. We're just going to have a solo date. And um, I don't believe Bobby saying that this man is unattractive. Like, excuse me? He was molded from two of my hottest sims. So <laughs> it's like um, the genetics are geneticing. And if y'all could guess, if y'all watch my series LYFC, I'm going to shout y'all out in my next episode. If y'all could guess who is the mommy and the puppy from the LYFC crew. Like, like who does he look like? And it's not like an already established couple. It's just two people who just... We're not together, but they're beautiful. So yeah, and don't worry, Ken Brooklyn. If you if she doesn't choose you, you're going to have your own thing because this is this is a man right here. And I'm just going to put him. I'm feeling like he's going to be my thumbnail for no reason. Like he's a thirst trap. If I ever saw a thirst trap, 
Oh, sorry, Ken Castro is also adorable. But anyway, let's get back to this. Look at you, specimen. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm done. I'm done being. I'm done being stupid. Let's go to the solo date. All right. So we are at this beautiful lot in the middle of Oasis Springs. <laughs> The reason why I chose this lot is that, you know, Ken Solani is from, from an island and maybe, you know, he's in this desert. She wanted to bring him somewhere with, within his element, with water, you know? Then you see, he's already like going into the water. So come on, Bobby, let's go join him. Let's change your outfit real quick. We have so much in common that I know you're the one for me. Um, oh my God, did she, re did she reject him? Oh, she's like no i don't think so yet oh he's embarrassed not not the best image oh 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 my guys splash him try to like lighten the mood she's like no i really want to get to know you i i like you i think you i think you're cute oh and she's making him laugh and stuff oh at least he feels good he's like but you know i'm looking for my soulmate whatever what are you looking for i'm looking for love this is why we're here right but you're so shy do they like me too from interacting with a crush oh he's so blessed she wore an itsy bitsy teeny weeny hot pink bikini <laughs> now i was so off key you know <laughs> but She's like, catch me if you can. <laughs> oh, okay. Her skin is glowing, glowing, and I'm so here for it. He is so excited. Come on. He's a water baby. He's a child of the islands. He is loving this. <laughs> Girl. Look at him. He's like a little kid. He's so playful. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Dude. Oh, Cancelani. My baby. Oh gosh. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, honey. Let me see you. Woo! Oh, but oh, there's a carver bowl here. So I'm going to like let him prepare some carver. You know, again, she wants to make him feel at home because I honestly, I think part of him is like, you know, he's so far from home. He, so now he could prepare some carver for the both of them and they can have a little drink. He's like, you know, you're really sexy, right? Like, you're really beautiful. and But I like you for more than that. And I'm glad that, you know, we, we've had this solo date. Okay, so he's feeling confident because of, you know, he made cover for her. He's like, I wanted to, I want to share my life with you. I just feel like a fish out of water over here. I feel as though I don't have a chance. To me, you have already, you've already chosen. You're the one. That's not true. I haven't chosen anybody. You're still here, right? He's a bit afraid of getting hurt. She already has a guy who's a soulmate, which is a problem. It's like a problem for the house. It's like, you know, I'm having so much fun with you. It's fun. Thank you for bringing me like close to water. It's like, oh, so I need a, I need to get a picture of this. Uh, She's like, I mean, she is attracted to him. He looks, he looks good, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. Let's take a picture. Yay. Yes, look at the both of them. Oh, yay. Yes, Barbie. Yes. <laughs> But he is super flirty and honestly, okay, to me, he's not going to waste his opportunity to take things to another level. Like what, what can he? <gasps> oh my God. He's like, I even wanted to do this like all day. Oh, yes, Barbie. <laughs> Bobby, I 
honestly cannot believe that happened. <laughs> I'm sorry, that that just went so well. Their relationship now is at 61 and romance is 33. He now has the highest romance in the house. And I mean, he has like had like a really great solo date. Let me know what y'all think about Ken Solani. Um, do you think that, like, you know, is he a good fit? Is it like she's trying to find something else outside of Axel? Like, what's the tea? And does anybody else in the house have a chance with Axel there? You know what I'm saying? So let's go to. Hey guys, so it's the next morning at the Barbie Dream House. And um, everyone is up early because we do have a long day today. Oh, what the hell is going on? Like last night, there was a talk. Basically, um, Ken Sulani was boasting how he kissed Bobby, right? Now, Bobby came home and she went straight to bed. She had a long day and she wanted to get some good rest for the photo shoot today because she needs to be on point but Ken Solani was just like you know talking with the guys you know as guys do and um he was was bragging and boasting you know like how he where you got this laptop from did you steal a laptop bro you know what whatever I'm, I'm done I'm done with you but Axel for some reason feels very threatened um and he hasn't gotten a chance to speak to bobby but like he can't take it because normally she comes running after him and she hasn't she oh here she is good morning what's up what's going on are you good did you sleep well are you excited for the photo shoot today and he is not paying attention to her as he usually does and to me i am just like he's gonna want to say something even though he wants to play it cool he is like bothered he is going to want to ask her like what are we like what what is this what are we doing why are we doing this show because when they went on their solo date he did tell her that this is it for him and she still wants to carry on with the show which is some that's what she's here for but what she wants is for him to step up but he kind of doesn't want to do all of that he just wants to be with her like, yeah, what do you think Bobby should do? Do you think Bobby should just leave the show because she found her soulmate? Or does she continue doing what she, like, trying to find the right Ken for her? And is Axel the right Ken for her? And I think the reason why she hasn't left the show yet is only been, like, a few days. <gasps> what are you mad about this time? I want to break up? But you're all not together. She, I, okay, so what I'm gathering from this, she's like, I just kind of want to, like, cool off on the soulmate thing for now because what oh my gosh their relationship oh he's like are you what oh my god she's like no we really should just cool it i just can't oh she's like i'm so bored by this he's like i wanted you i wanted you only but then you going out and you kissing ken sulani i would never do something like that to you this is a show this is a show can you just get out through your head i'm not doing anything to you i'm looking for my ken i'm looking for my future husband and you don't want to step up to the plate at all so bobby is again not paying attention to ken axel anymore at the end of the day she doesn't really want to have this argument as much as she cares about him i think ken sulani like really opening up to her kind of shows her where axel does not step up to the plate and Axel is like, you know what, whatever, bro. Like, if she wants to be like that, then fine. If she wants to deny what we are, then that's okay. And Ken Brooklyn is like, keeping his eye on the prize. Like, yeah, bro. Like, whatever you say. And Axel is like, she's just gonna be out there flirting, trying to make me jealous. She just, she just in denial, bro. She's just in denial. She is in denial, Ken Axel. You're gonna win this thing for sure. And again, Ken Brooklyn is like, you gotta, you gotta stay calm. You gotta stay calm and just be, and just be yourself and just be you. You never know. She might come around eventually. She's like, whatever. I don't even care anymore. I don't care what she does. I don't care. But seriously, guys, look at how their relationship went. It's like, it's awkward now. And he now perceives her as basic looking. Excuse me? 
So Ken Brooklyn came outside to really check on Bobby because he saw the interaction go down and he's like, don't listen to him, Bobby. It's your choice at the end of the day. You know, we are all here because we want to be with you and he can't get angry if, you know, you start to like other people. It's just part of the competition. And if he was really ready to compete and really think that you're worth more, he would step up because you are completely worth it. She's like, thank you, Ken Brooklyn. Thank you. Oh my God, he get jealous. Oh, oh, <laughs> Ken Brooklyn. <laughs> oh my God, Ken. He's like, you're totally with it, you know? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Ken, let's see how mad he can get about that. That's like Ken Brooklyn's face right now. Ken Brooklyn, please. <laughs> Bobby's like serves him right. Okay, I am Bobby. Like, I don't get like he doesn't rule me. He doesn't own me. Wait. Wait, just now. Are you good? <gasps> oh, she's gonna get a foot massage. Okay. Oh my god. I thought they were going to woohoo. Guys, please. Ken Sulani is literally heartbroken. I am so sorry, Ken Sulani. No woos today from bummer days he's drifting love from jealousy oh Ken Solani, i'm sorry but like so i know seeing how with the other guys frustrates you but it's it's quite okay it's quite all right um oh poor thing <laughs> how is he so drunk he's like whatever i'm just gonna get drunk and he's single soon from arguing but you're not with her though why does he think that he's with her like Oh my gosh, y'all are messy. He's like, I don't give a shit about her. I don't give a shit. I, I'm gone. I'm gone. He just likes to walk off on people. He's like, whatever. Ken Brooklyn, you're like really and truly being a messy bitch. <laughs> He's like, let me let me take care of you. You deserve a strong man who's going to step up to the plate and who's going to service you like a goddess that you are. Oh, like I could talk to you. Like you listen to me. I appreciate you, Ken, Brooklyn. I want to be serious about you. And I'm playing to win. I'm playing to win your heart. I'm playing to win. You've made me feel so much better. Okay, guys. It looks as though the house has a visitor. I wonder who it could be. Hi, guys. So it's Chia XOXO in the house. Hi, honey. You're, you're so beautiful. Girl, speak for yourself. Yes. <laughs> I wonder what they think about each other. <laughs> okay, so Gia thinks Bobby is annoying. <laughs> uh, Bobby thinks Gia is immature. I mean, I really love that the fact that they, they, they don't like each other. <laughs> stop okay guys so i'm having gia meet all of the guys and she and ken castro are soulmates she found the one. Oh my gosh ken castro <laughs> sorry i am dead i am dying so okay she has to meet um Ken Sulani. So <laughs> stop. Wait. Like they already have like a romantic thing. Girl, please. Chia, you're here to do a job. She's like, listen, that's my vibe. He's really cute. But I mean, she's like, you know, nice to meet you guys. I can't believe it. Like, the story is not about you. Gia, why do you have to make everything about yourself? She's like, hey, Ken Brooklyn. I hear you're causing quite a stir in the house. What do you think about your chances of winning? <laughs> oh my god, Ken Sulani, please! <laughs> First of all, um, Ken Sulani, normally you'd be my type, but, um, 
no we really should not like ever like don't get it twisted please thank you Gia listen this is not your show okay your sim self series is not ready yet so miss xoxo can you not make this about yourself that would be great she's like everything is about me everything everything okay no it's not let's go okay guys so we are here at the photo shoot lot which is like right opposite the barbie dream house so let me just show you around the different sets right so basically the sets are all representative of different types of barbies so we will have like the first set is basically barbie in love and you know first come love and then comes marriage so then there's like bridal barbie <laughs> and then we have well i want to call it tropical barbie but it's really like representative of barbie on her honeymoon and then the last one is housewife barbie because you know she's on this is the first generation first generation is housewife barbie and yeah so i just really love putting together all of these sets you know and have the teleporters over here there's the interview room so they'll be having like a, just a short little interview with um gia xoxo and barbie anyway yeah so there's like a little cute little rec room well a green room literally with a kitchen and there's fresh fruit and then they'll be catering you know if everybody is hungry and they've got coffee and whatnot so this is a cute little um a cute little makeshift um photo shoot area so it seems like the guys are arguing axel is getting drunk he's still pissed off he's making fun of ken brooklyn right he's like dude you're losing it you're losing your shit relax yourself you have a headache whatever you know Ken Solani's drunk in his sorrows. Ken Brooklyn is like, y'all, just chill. Like, listen, this is a competition. If you're really not here for that, then I don't know what to tell you. Even if you want to lose the girl that just said was yours, then yeah, whatever. You do you. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with him? Oh my gosh. He's in a mess. And Ken Castro is like, guys, I think I found the one. And it's not Barbie. And I don't know, I don't know what to do. Like, do you think Gia XOXO, like, and me could make it? What, like Gia? The celebrity Gia? Well, what about, I don't know, she just drives me crazy. I mean, I like Barbie, Barbie's pretty. But Gia just, she stole my heart. Ken Castro is really like considering to follow his heart. Ken Solani is still feeling a bit bummy. Ken Axel is in a very like horrible condition at this point in time. But he has to get himself ready. He has to pull himself together for this photo shoot. So let's get it started, okay? So Ken XO, XO, my love is very special. If you want it, you can have it. Hi besties, it's your girl Gia XOXO here and welcome to the XOXO show. Now joining me today is Miss Barbie Love, the most famous bachelorette in Barbie land. Thank you for joining me Barbie. <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here. I still cannot believe this is happening. You better believe it, babe. Now, you've made quite a splash in Barbie world. You're gorgeous, lovable, and honestly, a bit messy <laughs> and we love it <laughs> and you have four cans and let's be honest the entire world falling in love with you how has this experience been for you so far honestly it still feels like a dream i didn't know what to expect when i applied for the show i was hoping for fairy tale romance like most of us do but it's it's kind of been a fairy tale but with a few frogs you know Oh, a fairy tale indeed. <laughs> now, there are four cans left in this house and I'm excited that we got to do a photo shoot for Black Barbie magazine. In the photo shoot, Barbie is depicting limited edition Black Barbies. This photo shoot went from lovey-dovey 
all romantic and cute to hot and steamy to downright explosive you have to tell me what's the team what were you what was going through your mind when this was happening what do you think about the guys and has this photo shoot brought you closer to one ken or the next viewers let's get this tea this hot piping tea I felt so cute and pretty during the Barbie in love photo shoot. Like, I tried to imagine what it was like to be in love. And Ken Castro really helped me feel so comfortable, like, to get used to the photos. Like, he's such a sweetheart and he really has become such a good friend to me in a short space of time. But for some reason, I felt a little bit of disconnect. It was like he was distracted distracted what do you mean well it seemed like he wasn't there like his mind was somewhere else hmm interesting Bobby you make such a gorgeous bride thank you it was so surreal to be wearing a wedding dress like I was in a fantasy land like I felt so beautiful like I was literally floating I am definitely going to be daydreaming about my wedding even more now and seeing Ken Solani in a tuxedo was so strange but it was a nice change from swimwear <laughs> he looked so handsome and we look really good together but I have to be honest I don't see him standing next to me on my wedding day is that bad no Bobby that's just being honest. Now girl, <laughs> Trouble Girl Honeymoon Bobby brought the heat. <laughs> Definitely. I live for hot pink and beach vacations. I felt super sexy and and, and long hair don't care <laughs> and when ken brooklyn joined me he definitely came with swimsuit model energy and he's not my usual type but something about him just oh and when i almost fell he caught me in his arms and i felt so secure i haven't felt that secure in a while and i felt supported and then he picked me up and charles beloosh <laughs> and then he kissed me and that was it girl trust us we all felt it on set you two are definitely hot 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 <laughs> that kiss though girl can i say that housewife bobby did not come to play you were giving cover girl <laughs> Yeah, I was definitely feeling myself after that shoot with, with Ken Brooklyn, and I said, why not bring it all the way? Unfortunately, Ken Axel was in a salty mood, like he usually is, and he saw the kiss, he hated his outfit and his hair, and then we had that argument earlier in the day, and he was just being a big baby about everything. And I was trying to get him to like work with me, but then he just we just started arguing back and forth and like he just wants to be combative with me <sighs> now we do have some footage of your conversation and ken is being a bit unreasonable let's discuss during the photo shoot like axel is like i just can't do this with you i can't sit here and pretend you have me dressing up like a clung this is what you want me to do this is what you want me to do look like a total dweeb on tv I can't do this. I can't do this for you. To me, you're not going to be worth it. If you're my soulmate, you're my soulmate. This is a competition. I don't know how much time to tell this to you and to get this through your thick skull. I feel like we are not soulmates and that's not for real. I think that soulmate is bullshit. Like, watch your tone with me. I really wanted to be with you. He's like, I just don't want to do this with you. I don't want to do this competition anymore. It's like, so you're just going to be a big baby about it? Yeah, you're going to be there. You're going to kiss guys in front of me. You're going to have me dressing up like this. I don't want to do this with you. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be here. Is that you choose to leave with me or I'm leaving right now? I'm not leaving with you. I'm not leaving with you. I'm done with this, actually. Oh, my God, Bobby. Are you walking away? Are you walking away from Ken Axel? Are you sure about this? I honestly think that she knows that Ken Axel is not... He's 
not showing her the interest that one she deserves and that she desires and it's no more than just like attention and sexual affection and whatnot he is not even like wanting to participate he just wants her to run away with him and and to live a life together it's like no this is not what the this is not what the bachelorette show is about you know what i'm saying and now she's just gonna again walk with her head high you know, Ken Solani is there. She doesn't really want to talk to Ken Solani right now. Ken Axel is angry. He's still drunk. He's really like thinking that he is in a hot mess. Like, is he in over his head? So Jay is just like sitting with him. He's like, what's going on, Ken Axel? It's like, is it that you feel like she It's like, I just feel like she just doesn't care. Like, she just doesn't care. She's so. <laughs> so, is it just me? Or do I feel like you're coming on to me sexually? And she's like, you know what? I was worrying you're never going to realize that. And Bobby's in the mood, especially after that argument with Axel Rose, that, yeah, she's going to, like, say, I thought you were never going to ask. Yeah, so Ken Axel is like, I really feel like she just does not give a shit about me. And she just wants to do, like, the whole competition thing. But, you know, you did sign up on a show with a competition, right? Why are you here if you're not ready to compete? It's like i just i just i don't know so what are you gonna do after this listen i'm not the kind of person to beg anybody to love me i know when my time is up she's not worth it anyway okay she's a pass around i fucked the first night it's okay it's like whatever you're full of shit ken axel rose that's why nobody likes you in in barbie world you're like a terrible ken and you really want people to make you really want people to feel sorry for you i don't give a shit what you say i don't give a shit about what anybody says well i guess you're now showing the world your true colors oh ken i will say this sincerely for all women everywhere f off only if you f off on me Ugh. <laughs> no <laughs> this photo shoot went all the way left right ken brooklyn has laid his claim onto bobby and he is coming to win right he's not caring who he's who he's hurting he's coming here to win this competition and bobby is ready to be won like she wants to be pursued she wants to feel that she is desired and really wanted and ken axel was not doing that for her and then there's chia and ken castro that i did not foresee at all <laughs> oh no wait a minute chia hey ken i know we don't know each other that well but i think would be really good in the sack i think we should skip the formalities and just go for it <laughs> Alright, let's go for it. Screw the formalities. But well, he confirmed what he was feeling this whole time. Ken Sulani is, bro, what is going on here today? Like today, this game is just doing the most. Please. So guys, is this a love story or is this a one night kind of thing? You know what you have to do, right? You can't lead her along. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, do you think Chia is encouraging him to leave the show? Huh? I mean, it's the only the right thing to do, right? If you feel like an instant attraction to somebody, then I mean, I'm not playing by double rules here, but nobody wants Ken Axel to win. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> just, just, just saying, y'all. So Bobby got a mood that's saying, you know, unfounded prejudice from satisfying, you know. Bobby is left in awe after the latest sexual partner gave her so much pleasure despite not quite being her type. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, something about Ken Brooklyn is really intriguing to her, especially the fact that he has so much confidence. Okay, guys, so we're at the Barbie house and it's time for an elimination. Now, with all the drama from the photo shoot and the arguing all day, Bobby still has some decisions to make. 
you know but at this time ken castro really wants to like wanted to speak to her by himself to let her know that he'll be dropping out of the competition right and it's like listen i i met somebody and it's like really overwhelming and i don't want to break your heart and you're like a really sweet girl and i really i really care for you a lot but i need to follow my heart on this one i hope you understand of course i understand i understand true love and i'm glad that you're going with your heart you know i wish i could go with my heart but it doesn't like i don't so you don't believe in soulmates i thought i did but he can't possibly be my soulmate you know i just don't feel it like that with him i want to i want to have what you have like an overwhelming love for someone that you really want to like move out of the house for i don't have that vibe about ken axel and that's the truth so i wish you all the best thank you for telling me and invite me to the wedding okay don't forget me and congratulations to you of course congratulations to you and gia uh, <laughs> tonight i have three wonderful men standing in front of me ken castro would not be joining us tonight because he has honestly found the love of his life and i'm so happy for him the guys that are left here i really am glad that you're still here even though we might have had some disagreements today i'm so glad some of you are still here even though the day might not have gone the way any of us would have wanted it to but it still kind of shows me that there is some passion and there's something worth fighting for ken axel you and i have been arguing for the entirety and i know you want me to step down from this competition even though i want to stay and to be sure that i find the right one i'm glad that you're here right now because it shows me that you still want to be in this competition and fight for me even though you say competition is not necessary ken brooklyn you and i had so much fun today you've shown me a side of yourself that honestly i'm so happy that you've shown me because I would never go for a guy like you and you've kind of turned my eyes to something completely different. You're sweet, you're encouraging, you're sexy as hell and you really know how to make a girl feel better when she's not feeling herself. Ken Sulani, I know the past couple of days have been a lot for you. We had such a connection on our solo date but I know you felt really hurt by certain things and you feel very sad about it and I'm, I'm sorry but... I want you to know that I really care about you and I, I never meant to hurt you. Now, this is where things, you know how it goes. I'm just gonna just go into it and say who I want to stay in the house to go to the next round. I'm letting my heart lead me here, guys. And let's just begin. Ken Brooklyn, you have showed me that you want to be here and you want to win and you want to be with me. I want you to stay in this competition so can Brooklyn step forward. Bobby, I'm really glad to be here. I'm glad that I'm still in the house and I'm excited to be here and I'll do anything to, to win your heart. <sighs> the two of you, Ken Sulani and Ken Axel, I really like the both of you. I have to go with my heart on this one. And the person who I want to stay in the house is Ken Axel. Um, Ken Axel, step forward. Please don't make me regret my decision. I'm here because I still love you. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to step up to the plate and show you that you, that you get what you deserve. Okay. I'm not going to let any square take my girl. Ken Solani, I'm so sorry. I know it's been hard for you to come out here and I wish you all the best. I hope you find the love that you're looking for. You're really sweet, but I don't see us being together. When we had our photo shoot, it wasn't you who I wanted to stand next to me in my wedding dress. And I'm sorry. I hope you understand. I think I was already out of my depth when I came here and um, I'm happy that I got to know you and um, I really wish that I could have gotten like I could have gone further um, I, I just I don't I don't have anything else to say I'm, I just I don't know how I feel right now I don't know how I feel can somebody take the cameras off of me I, I, I don't want to cry oh poor pumpkin okay so bobby's gonna give ken a hug they're like good friends they're like really good friends and um oh look at look at ken brooklyn watching he's like yeah use my girl like 
<laughs> Why is he looking at her like that? He's giving her a hug. He's like, you know, it's okay. You know what? Don't worry, you can come to Solani sometime. He's like, definitely. So with that being said, guys, that is the elimination. Ken Brooklyn is here to win. Does he like the fact that Ken Axel is still here? He knows the hold that Ken Axel has on Bobby, but he's in it to win it. And I mean, he, it's 50-50 at this point. Like, I mean, he thinks it's more than that. Like, he thinks it's in the bag, right? And But Ken Axel is like, you know what? I'm still here. I'm going to step my game up if that's what she wants. I want Barbie. It, it, she might be with it. Yeah, I talk my shit, but I'm still here. I didn't go anywhere. All right. So Barbie is off to bed. Okay, she's had a long day. Ken Brooklyn is like, you really think that she could? Like, you should just go. You're never gonna win. Okay. She she needs a man like me, who is who knows what he wants, who wants a family, who is ready to step into it and support her and give her what she needs. You're just a freaking square. Yeah, a square that's gonna take your woman from you. All right? You felt like you could claim her on the first night. But, bitch, she's a free woman and she can do what she want. And she's gonna pick the best man. So, I'm gonna look forward to crushing you. Okay? Ah, oh, shut the fuck up. You're a lame and she doesn't like lame dudes. Okay? Look at me and look at you. <laughs> If anybody's lame around here, it's you, bro. Like, you can say what you want. I still am the soulmate. And in the end, she's gonna pick me. All right, bet. Bet. <laughs> He's like, bet. The next stage is gonna be different. So I hope you're prepared. You really have to bring an A game. Okay? What do you know about it? Kiss my ass. I'm done. Okay, guys, we're gonna leave these two sizing up each other. We're gonna move the other Sims out of the house. I really hope that you guys enjoy this episode. I am enjoying this series so, so very much. They are going to be competing for Bobby in the next round. And again, can Axel still be in the house? It's like, why is he still here? What does Bobby want with this man? Like, what does she want from him? And do you think that he would ever really show up like that? Like, and then ken brooklyn has already shown his hand he's already played his hand do you think he has more do you think he has more in store i don't know bobby has has decisions to make and i am interested to see where it's gonna go okay miss barbie with a costume change she she enjoys the passion that she and axel has and i i guess she's doing what she does to get a rise out of him and i mean she did and the fact that, again, she's impressed at the fact that he's still here. But that's that's kind of toxic, Bobby. I'm not here for the toxic love, but... I mean, I guess, girl, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry. She is like... And she's like, she just woke up with like her eyes closed. Like She's like, I'm blind to the bullshit. Y'all can say what y'all want about me. I am just living my life. Anyway, let's say goodbye to the Barbie dream house for now. And then I will see you at Ken Castro's new house. And then we will say goodbye over there. Okay. Bye, Barbie. Bye, guys. So here at Ken Castro, will be moving out. They will have $15,000 each. So let's go. And let's move out. Yay. Bye, guys. Thank you for being part of the Barbie Bachelorette. <laughs> Enjoy your new life. Hey everybody, so we are in Del Sol. It's been a couple days after the elimination. We're at a mansion in Del Sol Valley. And we're essentially at um Ken Castro's new home. Where he's chilling with his boo. His new boo, Miss Gia XOXO. So <laughs> listen to me very carefully, right? So when I wanted Gia to host this this um this episode i did not expect her to come in there and and um find a soulmate but you know she did and um we're here for it we're here for my girl finding love <laughs> she's like yeah i see it i want it i claim it i take it and now you're mine 
anyway guys so i am just going to leave this right here tell me i would love to hear your feedback on this episode and again thank you for watching all the way to the end tell me i would love to know what you think about the elimination can axel can brooklyn what went on with ken sulani um did anybody make the right decision here who do you think bobby is gonna end up with do you think she's gonna end up with axel or brooklyn because she is not confused but i think she is somebody that gives a lot of chances so it's up to ken axel if he really wants what he wants you know say goodbye to my babies i will see y'all in the next one thank you so very much i am having so much fun with this series so yeah and let me know if y'all want to see you know updates with ken castro and, and gia like i would love that <laughs> to see how their life progresses it may not be immediately it may be when the bachelor when the bachelor series starts in earnest and even though gia and um bobby don't really like each other like that like they don't get along that you make for like some in they have bad first impressions of each other i mean i guess <laughs> bobby was right <laughs> bobby was right to not trust gia because <laughs> gia is like come up in there and like stole her man and shit like like who does that <laughs> you're wrong for that but she's like you know what yeah but they're gorgeous though like come on my like, guys please <laughs> please <laughs> sorry this is his own thing right here and um yeah Aww. yes i love this animation so y'all will be seeing it plenty okay She's like, okay, y'all could go now. All right, I'm here with my mans. I'm here with my mans. And y'all could just go because we're going to progress to something that y'all can't see. So, bye, guys. <laughs> let me just, let me just back it out here. Bye, y'all. I will see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Love your bad. <makes noise>